Okay guys, welcome back to a brand new video on the Ascend Scooter Academy channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to feeble stall. Let's go. We're gonna be doing this from a point of view version of my GoPro, and we're gonna be using this mini half pipe down here at Ramfest Indoor Skate Park. Okay, so the feeble stall is an essential basic that everyone needs to know and learn. So today, I'm gonna walk you through the steps, point of view, so you can see exactly how I do it, and you can see from my point of view, okay? Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is show you what a feeble stall actually is and why it is necessary. So, I've just got myself into a feeble stall here. This is basically the basics of the feeble here. We've got the back wheel lining up against the coping and the front wheel just on the edge like this with our scooter on an angle just like that. So the point of the feeble stall is to come in, stall on the coping, and then jump back in, yes? Okay, let's get straight into it and make this video nice and quick. Okay, the first thing you're gonna be, need to be able to do is drop in, of course. So I'm gonna assume you can already drop in. Find yourself a nice three to, no, we'll say a two to three foot half pipe like this with a coping bar. You can, of course, start without coping as well. That's the way I usually teach it, without coping, but right now we've got the mini half pipe. So the first thing you're gonna do is drop into the ramp. You're gonna head up and land on the quarter directly straight, okay? What you're gonna feel is your scooter deck slide against the coping, and you'll be able to lock your back wheel down there against the coping, all right? So once in this position, get really comfortable with this and balance. Balance here for a few seconds, all right? Now, dependent whether you're regular or goofy is gonna determine whether you move to the left or to the right, okay? I'm regular, so I'm gonna be moving to the right. So once in this position, you can start to shift ever so slightly. Now, as you get more of an angle, your scooter is gonna start to slide a little bit more, okay? So here's probably the ideal position for me to be in before I learn to jump back in, okay? This is a bit of a stretch of an angle. This angle's a little bit too much, but it'll allow you to get used to balancing on the coping like this, okay? Hey guys, let's say that you are past step one, you don't need that step. If you're already comfortable on going straight into the feeble and you're already confident with the feeble, I'm gonna show you exactly how to get into it and exactly where your scooter should be, along with the most important part, which is your body positioning. Which way are you leaning when you're in the feeble? Most people, when they do a feeble, will get onto the coping and start sliding straight away. That means that their body positioning is not in the right spot. So let's go up nice and slow. I'm gonna get into a feeble position. Okay, so. I'm gonna jump off my scooter for a second and show you the ideal feeble position here. So the idea of the feeble would be to have your scooter wheel locked up against the coping like this, and your front wheel as close to the coping as possible. Mine is about two or three inches from the coping, and this is an ideal feeble position just here. Now I'm gonna give you the trick. This is the trick on how to get the feeble properly, and this is the biggest mistake everyone makes, so this is the most important. When you're going up for the feeble and getting into the feeble position, you must have your chin over the bars, leaning into the ramp, not out of the ramp, okay? So I'm gonna show you the difference. So I'm gonna go up, and I'm gonna feeble, and I'm gonna lean out. Did you see my scooter deck just there? tilt this way, it's because I'm leaning out. Now, most kids will do this because they are so scared of falling back into the ramp. But falling back into the ramp is a necessary part of the feeble as we are going back in. So, instead of being out on this angle like this, you're gonna be on the opposite. So your feeble's locked in and your chin, if I, if, you can't see my chin, but my chin is over my bars and actually leaning in towards the ramp. So you should be able to see the ramp right now. My chin is actually past the coping. So half of my head is inside of the ramp. And this is gonna allow me to jump back in just like that, all right? So I guarantee if you lean into the ramp just like this, see how I've gotten into it? My whole torso right now is over and into the ramp. I'm not standing up straight. I'm actually over in, and that allows me to lean back in and jump, okay? It makes the jump a lot less scary when you come up, you lean in, and you go back in just like that, yeah? So we always wanna be facing towards the ramp because that's the way that we're going. So if you guys are having trouble with the feeble and you keep falling off backwards as you're learning, it's because you're not leaning in enough. So get your scooter nice and straight, lean that torso in, and push your scooter backwards. That really helps. So instead of pushing your scooter forwards like that and leaning in, that's what causes you to fall. So if you're leaning forward and push your scooter forward like that, you'll fall. Keep your scooter nice and straight in that ride. Push your scooter bars back like this and lean your chin into the ramp and watch this. It causes so much balance that you can just go just like that, yeah? Now the second biggest thing people struggle with is actually getting back into the ramp. So I'm gonna give you a couple of quick steps on how to help you get back into the ramp. So let's say you go up and you're in the feeble, right? Now, most people are gonna take their foot off, right? So start with just a foot plant. Start with leaning over like this, foot planting back in, okay? Leaning over, foot plant back in. Eventually, you're gonna have two feet on. Now, once you get to the two feet mark, 
you're gonna really lean in, let it fall, and just bunny hop and land sideways. Most concrete quarters and wood quarters you will not slide out on if you land sideways. I'll give you an example now. So I'm gonna land flat sideways. I'm in. Flat sideways, just like that, and the ramp's a little bit wet as well, so I had a little bit of a skid, but I was safe. Nice and easy, just like that, yeah? Most of the feeble comes with confidence, guys. You just have to get your balance right. It is a very, very simple trick and easy to learn. I've taught hundreds of feebles in my coaching program. If you want a more in-depth tutorial on the feeble and really take it step by step, come join my online coaching program at ascendscooteracademy.com, where I go full in depth on all of these tricks and help you out via video calls. So if you're interested in that, go down to the link in the description, come join my online program. Thanks for watching guys.